morning. Welcome to prayers that light our path on this beautiful Saturday morning, the 4th of July. You know, the 4th of July marks a time in our history when representatives of our government uprising against Britain signed that Declaration of Independence. That Declaration of Independence listed grievances that the people of the times had with London, Great Britain. They needed the right to be able to worship God the way they wanted to, without tyranny, without oppression. Those men got together that day and they came up with these wonderful group of words that gave us the assurance that all men are created equal that we have the right and the freedom to worship who we want to worship. Where have we come with that? It was written by a man by the name of Thomas Jefferson, who was probably one of the most patriotic statesmen that the United States has ever known the independence, the Declaration of Independence. It symbolizes independence from tyranny, from oppression. It symbolizes freedom. You know, it wasn't, even though it was written in 1776, the United States really wasn't delivered from bondage until 1783. And there was a high cost that was paid for that, for that deliverance. More than 25,000 men died as a result of that battle in the American Revolution. It took eight years, four months, and 15 days of war before America and Great Britain, before the independence of Great Britain could be fully attained. The Oxford Dictionary defines freedom as the power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants, without hindrance or without restraint. As I read the book of Galatians, there's a lot in that book that we can learn about independence, but there's a couple of verses I really want us to pay attention to today. One is from Galatians 5.1. It says, For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit yourself to the yoke of slavery. And another from Galatians 5.13. That verse tells us, For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh but through love serve one another. What a wonderful promise. The promise of freedom. The promise to be able to make the choice of what we want to do. Let's not use that with disrespect. Let's use that with the greatest amount of respect, respect for all the people who have died serving, serving our country doing what needed to be done to maintain that freedom for us because it's a wonderful, wonderful gift that we have been given. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we come to you this morning. We come to you this morning. Our hearts are gladdened because of all the freedoms that you have given us, the freedom to be able to worship you, the freedom to be able to come to your house and to be able to spend time with you without worry that someone is going to come in and pull us into the street. Father, we thank you for the abundance that you've given to this country. You have chosen this country 
But Father, we also have to remember that we have to honor being chosen. We know that when we fall from your grace as a people, serious things can happen. It's been proven to us time and time again throughout history. Father, we love you. We thank you for the opportunity to serve such a wonderful God who has made us independent even from that old Satan. We have the opportunity to be free from his tyranny and his reign. Be with us, Father, as we go forth from this day on, that we value the sacrifices that have been made in this country by American patriots dedicated to assuring the freedom that we have. Father, we love you. We thank you for your blessing. And in your name this morning we pray. Amen. My friends, I hope that you will spend today remembering all the blessings that God has given us, all the wonderful things that God provides for us, and the opportunity to be able to serve our God in a country free from oppression free from the fear that if we go to church and we worship God, that we won't be punished for that. I hope that you have a wonderful and safe Fourth of July weekend. God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.